Hello everyone, Not Luck here. Today we're going to be making this dynamic moving shape gizmo, whatever you want to call it, and let's get right into it. There are going to be two types of shapes. Shapes that do not have collision, like these red ones, and there's going to be shapes uh, like this white one that actually do have collisions. And I'll explain why they're flashing. So if you want to make your shapes have co a collision, what you're going to want is a static body 2D as your parent. You're going to want to have a collision polygon 2D as your child. And then you're going to want polygon 2D as a child of the collision. Okay, this is all you need to make the dynamic shape. And if we go into the script of the static body, we can see that this is very simple. Every frame, and of course this is not the best way to do it whatsoever. Of course this is not the best way to do it. But the key point is that it works. And this is especially useful for game jams or some sort of quick side project or some sort of demo you want to make. And the efficiency and the actual nitty gritty details of the moving shape can be refined later but I'm just trying to uh, show a proof of concept that you can make dynamic shapes that have collisions and do not have collisions. So what we're going to want is a physics every frame so we're going to use the physics process function we're going to get shape itself the shape itself which is the polygon 2d we're going to get the attribute polygon which is actually po a part of the polygon 2d itself we're going to get the polygon and we're going to get, set it equal to the collision shape polygon. If this might sound confusing, it basically means that we're going to set the shape of the polygon, the actual visible shape that we'll see in the game, equal to the collision shape. This helps make it so that the collision shape is dynamic. We're also going to want to change the shape every frame. In the change the shape function, we're going to be looping through all the points in the collision shape polygon. And the reason we're doing dot size is because if we don't do dot size, then we actually get the points of the collision polygon 2D. And that means we're going to be getting these points over here, uh, like the vector 2 values. We're not going to be getting their numbers. So when we do dot size, we get their numbers. And this over here is just to make it so shape changes every frame. It's, it's simple if you read it out. So we're going to get a random variable, which is just a range in between negative 8 and 8. Uh, I'm just randomizing the... A list of values that Godot uses and then we're going to make another random variable again in between that range these two rand, uh, randoms will be different and then I can set the collision shape so the actual collision shape after getting the two randoms I can then say that the collision shape dot polygon and we're going to be getting uh, the index of i which is actually just 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 or whatever uh, however many points you have in your collision shape we're going to add the random vector that we're creating. And that's all we have to do to get some sort of uh, moving collision shape. And you can see that the rigid body that I did not talk about earlier is actually just bouncing around in the moving collision shape. And now the reason why the red ones and even the white one eventually yep, flash is because what happens is at a certain point, the triangulation as Godot calls it fails and I can actually show it in the next one which is right here in the moving shape no collision if I bring the shape over here it turns white and that's because uh, an error comes up saying triangulation failed I don't know why it's coming I don't know why it's I don't know why it's not coming up right now but it just says triangulation failed and it means that it cannot make a shape if it bends in on itself because Godot doesn't understand what that means so it just makes it white you can, there are ways to avoid this problem in code, but um, that's I'm just trying to show how to make the shape uh, move around. And we're going to be doing the exact same thing. The only difference in this code and the code with the collision shape is that instead of saying collision shape dot polygon, you're just going to say uh, polygon dot whatever or polygon bracket whatever. And that concludes this tutorial. This is what we're going. To, this is what you're going to get. And uh, the the way I change the color of the shape. Is that I actually went into the scene, actually went into the scene, and I just uh, modulated this. And as you can see, I can make it whatever color I want. Rerun it, and yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed.